Hello everyone, it's Melina here and uh, welcome back to my channel. It was a long time ago I made uh, of the page 3D mixed media piece. Um, I haven't really felt like doing it for a while. I did, did quite a lot a few years ago and I kind of got tired of it. But now I really like to um, alter this bottle. Um, so I, before I started recording I uh, gave the bottle a few coats of Deco Art Americana Sharky Finish Paint. And um, here, as you can see, I just apply a thin fabric uh, thing I bought on the pharmacy. Um, the, kind, the kind of thing you can put around your leg or arm if you have a wound or something. I don't really know what the English word for it is. And I apply Deco Art Matte Medium and here you can see me add some hemp to wine and I just uh, go a bit random around the page. Uh, page uh, the bottle to create some extra texture. Here I use the matte medium again and I will be uh, using some seashells that I bought second hand in a crafting place, uh, I think you can call it. She had a, a, a box with things she didn't want anymore and it was cheap and I bought them. Uh, what I add here is just a bit of um, white thread uh, again for some extra texture I change now from the matte medium to the heavy gel medium from deco art media uh, so I can attach my shells and they will stick. To cover up the rest of the heavy gel medium, I um, apply some uh, decorative stones um, I don't think they are really meant for crafting or for decorating things, but um, you know you can use everything, can't you? This was uh, a quite a long process um, I try to edit the video so it won't be too repetitive um, 
So I show just a little bit of what I'm doing and then I cut the rest off. Now it's time for some crackles, cracks, and I use the Deco Art Media crackle paint. I really like the paint. You can use it as a paste if you want to, but it's easy to just uh, use a brush and apply. And I really love the crack cracks that this paint uh, gives. So I just apply it here and there, thick and thin layers and um, it will create some great cracks. Uh, these little things are air dried clay that I uh, used some molds to get these little, uh, I don't know, <laughs> uh, shells and seahorse and, and stuff. And I paint with Deco Art Media Fluid Acrylics and the, um, just wait, I have to see what it is. It's the interference in turquoise and some quinacridone gold to add something in a contrasting color. Now everything is dry and I can start to give my bottle some more color. I use the raw umber and go around all the shells and other pieces that stick out. I think it's great to have a, a darker base around and under the embellishments and later you can add a brighter color on top of everything. It gives it some more dimension. I'm sorry if I'm a bit off camera. Uh, the bottle is so tall it, <laughs> it it's hard to work under the camera. Here I go in with some gesso and I'm dry brushing it. The key is to use a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of color, uh, uh, of gesso, and instead 
apply many layers of the thin layers of gesso. Uh, so you build up some great texture. And as you can see, the darker color peeks through from underneath the embellishments. This is one of my favorite colors, is the Deco Art Media Fluid Acrylic Green Gold. I know many don't like it, but it's one of my favorite colors. I use it a lot. And the next one, of course, Quinacridone Gold. And I just love the contrast between the teal colors, the green, and then the Queen gold one. And now it's time to attach my other little paper clay embellishments and I do so by uh, adding them with a heavy gel medium again. And there's the last one. Uh, now there is some heavy gel peaking under the, the new embellishment and while that medium is still wet I use some mini art stones um, so the gel medium can catch a few of them and you don't have a visible blob of gel medium when it's dry and it gives a, a ni nice extra texture the last step here I think it's the last thing I will do is to just dry brush on these embellishments with a little white gesso to enhance the texture from them. And here I 
am in normal speed <laughs> as you can see and uh, I just wanted to quickly show you my bottle but you will have some pictures it's easier to see all the yummy texture I hope you enjoyed today's video please let me know if you did uh, I love to read your comments and uh, I would love if you like and subscribe of course um, please let me know if you prefer if I use captions instead of talking I'm not that very good at English but I try uh, I hope to see you soon again bye bye